Sandusky, joined by Colonials Associate Head Coach Charlie Bascalia. And uh, Coach Charlie, well of a basketball game, arguably the biggest non-conference win since the win at uh, Virginia Tech several years ago. This is a big, big win for your program. Yeah, we played hard. We battled a lot of illness today. I mean, we had three or four that are in our rotation that were really battling illness. So I was tough on them coming back, making sure we got back in shape because we had a long break. And I, I think the players responded well, battling through illness and being tough out there, getting the win, getting the stops down the stretch that we needed. So very proud of the win. You're right, this is a good win for us. There was a little delay there as I was listening to the public address announcer make an announcement that I wasn't aware of. You've been here for every victory Robert Morris has had. Your dad's been the head coach for 12-plus uh, seasons now, and your program uh, under your leadership has now tied the all-time winningest coaching staff in program history. Yeah, a lot of hard work. That's what it's been. You know, we've been here for a while, and when we first got here, things have changed a lot over the years, so we've seen a lot. But one thing that hasn't changed is a great family environment here and a great support. And um, all those victories that Coach Sale got were a team effort. And, um, you know, it was a very proud accomplishment for him and for myself. And, and um, you know, it's a great momentum to go towards the uh, conference schedule now. Before we talk more specifically of, about today's game, uh, let's also talk about uh, Coach Sal being named the Beaver County Times Sportsman of the Year, a big honor. Well, that's a great honor. I mean, you know, there's a lot of people that could get that award, and there's a lot of great coaches and, um, and athletes and everything um, in this area. And uh, for him to be acknowledged of, uh, of that great honor is, is outstanding, and, I, and I, I know he's very honored for it. Now let's talk more about today's basketball game. Again, a 53 to 50 victory over the Delaware Blue Hens. And one player that absolutely jumps off at you today was Megan Smith. And Megan did a great job of being a go-to player in the second half. She was hitting her outside shot. She was working inside on the low post and doing a great job of drawing in double teams and passing. That's a really solid game for us today. I think um, today was one of her better games because we really needed her as we struggled to score around the basket and our guards struggled to shoot consistently. For her to come in there and, and be able to give us that inside-outside element was really big for us. So uh, Megan Smith, great job. Again, Adam Guskey here, joined by Colonials Associate Head Coach Charlie Biscaglia as Robert Morris defeats Delaware 53-50. to And Charlie, before we let you go, we've got to talk about Leah Warmack off of the bench. Boy, what a luxury she has. She is to come off of the bench, not only giving you experience, but great minutes and great play, nine points and a handful of rebounds. Yeah, Michaela wasn't having her best game, so, you know, they split time anyways, but Leah being able to come out there and do as well as she did today was huge because when someone has an off game like Michaela did, for Leah to give us more than what you expect is, uh, is, uh, is, uh, is tremendous by her, and she's been battling too. She's one of the ones that was sick, and um, she did a great job offensively hitting that mid-range shot and, and being really a bully inside, getting a lot of rebounds, blocking out well. Um, she was a big part of this victory also. Before we let you go, let's talk about Sacred Heart, a team that's always been a power in the Northeast Conference, and it's your first NEC game this upcoming Saturday. And they always do a, a great job of scheduling tough opponents in their non-conference, so Sacred Hearts always plays a quality schedule, and um, it's always a battle. You know, any game in this league's a battle, but we've had some wars with Sacred Heart over the years, prior coaches, prior teams, but, um, you know, we know it's going to be a battle every time, and, and they do a great job there, so we're going to have to come ready to play, and, and it's going to be a lot of film watching, and, and this is the for Christmas is the first and the second, and, um, and the second season has to be ours early on because we have two at home to start, and you want to get your home wins early in the conference, and um, we expect them to come in really hungry, so we're going to have to play real well. One last thing before we let you go, talk about the atmosphere today. Not bad for a Tuesday afternoon at the end of December. No, it was great. Anytime the kids come out and we get a lot of kids, it's great. The energy from them is outstanding. You know, I, if I had it my way, I'd have the kids here every day, have a field trip for everyone. Uh, every time we play, the kids know they got to look forward to having a day off of school. <laughs> Again, Robert Moore is 53. Delaware 50, the Colonials now 6-5 and five as they head into Northeast Conference play. For Justin Piles and Charlie Biscaglia, I'm Adam Guskey. We'll talk to you on Saturday as the Colonials take on Sacred Heart.